Hey guys, it's David here, and in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this um, physics problem, which involves working out the number of copper atoms in for um, or showing that the number of copper atoms in the given uh, volume, as you can see here, the given volume is one meter cubed, is um, 8.4 times 10 to the 28. Now, this is kind of I'd consider this kind of more of a um, well, leaning towards the chemistry kind of side because you you know you've work out a lot of things involving moles and molar masses and stuff like that in chemistry. But yeah, this is applicable to physics as well as you're going to see in this question. So, okay, first let me just read out the question. So, copper has a density of eight point nine times ten to the three um, kilograms per um, meter cubed, and molar mass of zero point zero six three kilograms per mole. And that means that there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23 atoms in 0.064 kilograms of uh, copper. Show that the number of copper atoms in one meter cubed is 8.4 times 10 to the 28. Okay, so one of the things I want to actually take a look at here, um, especially if you do physics and you don't do... Um, chemistry there's certain mis um, parts that you might not yet understand um, like the reason I'm making this video is a friend of mine uh, who does uh, physics a level but not chemistry a level is struggling with this so I thought you guys might benefit from this as well if you in a similar situation but yeah anyway so first of all let's take a look at breaking down this whole concept of molar mass and moles and kilos so let's form an equation based on this now if we look at the units here um let's first take a look at um let's say for a given mass which would be in kilograms um and if we divided that by a certain number of moles right as you can see here mole to the minus one so it's kilogram divided by moles that would equal a molar mass the molar mass as you can see here so from this we can say that moles times molar mass so if I was to multiply both sides by moles here moles times molar mass is equal to the mass or in kilograms or in this particular example it's in kilograms but I just represent it as m so I'm going to be using this kind of equation in this question and also there's another since we're taking a look actually at volume here as well we also have the concept that um, mass equals um, density times volume density times volume so if we get a volume uh, um, density here and we multiply it by the given volume we work out the mass and so to, in order to work out the number of copper atoms as you can see using this equation um, we have the molar mass so we have this already um, we don't have the number of moles yet and in order to work out the mass which is this m we need to divide the we need to multiply the density by the volume as I showed you here okay so what we need to do here is um, okay it says show that the number uh, it wants us to figure out the number no, the, show them the number of copper atoms in one meter cubed and so in, that means that V is one so V is one meter cubed so that's uh, that basically means that um, M is just going to be this 8.9 times 10 to the 3 so the number of moles is 8 wait no the um the mass is um 8.9 times 10 to the 3 so now we have the mass we have the molar mass which is here and we also have the um well we need to now work out the number of moles and so using if we rearrange this equation now the moles so moles times molar mass here is equal to the um, mass if we rearrange this this is going to be that the moles 
basically by multiplying both sides by this uh, molar mass here moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass this is just a simple arrangement and then we use we now use uh, our molar mass that we've got so 8.9 times 10 to the 3 is our mass we divide that by our molar mass which is 0 0.064 and this would give us our number of moles. So I've got a calculator here to just work this out. This would be hold on. 8.9 times 10 to the 3. Divide that by 0 0.064. That is equal to 101. 139,062.5 so this is our number of moles right and if we scroll up our molar mass is um, basically our mo uh, um, well to work out the number of um, atoms in the given number of moles this is goes back to um, this constant which you have here this is Avogadro's constant 6.02 times 10 to the 23 basically for any for one every mole of a certain substance there's this number of particles of that substance so right now we've got moles of copper and so for every mole of copper we've got this number of um, copper atoms so all we need to do is multiply our number of moles here by the constant so that gives us the number of moles uh, the number of copper atoms so multiply that by this 6.02 times 10 to the 23 and that gives us our answer which is 'll just run this to 8.3 we actually let's scroll up a little bit as you can see it asks uh, it asked us to show that it's 8.4 times 10 to the 28 so I'm gonna run it to right here um three decimal places so 8.372 times 10 to the 28 and then we're gonna run this again just to show that we're getting this which is equal to eight point four times ten to the power of twenty eight to one decimal place so as you can see I've now worked out that um, I've now shown that the number of copper atoms in this volume is eight point four times ten to the twenty eight so yeah I hope you guys found this video helpful if you've got any questions about it just you know ask me in the comments and yeah um, I'll see you guys in the next video.